In this question, we're given a probability distribution, and we're given that the chance that x equals r is k times r bracket r plus 1. Now, x can take any value from 1 to 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the, the chance that x equals 1 is given by k times 1 times 1 plus 2. Now, 1 times 2 is 2, so that's 2k. When x equals 2, 2 times 3 is 6, that's 6k. 3 times 4 is 12, that's 12k. 4 times 5 is 20, so that's 20k. And 5 times 6 is 30, so that is 30k. Now we know that the sum of these values must equal 1. So therefore 2 plus 6 is 8, plus 12 is 20, plus 20 is 40, plus 30 equals 70. So this tells me that 70k must equal 1, because the sums of our p's must equal 1. So therefore k must equal 1 all over 70. So therefore, this value here equals 2 over 70, this is 6 over 70, this is 12 over 70, this is 20 over 70, and this is 30 over 70. And these will come in useful in the second part of the question. Now to find the expectation or the expected value of x, we use the formula, the sum of x times p, or, or, or r times p. What it means is we do that times that, plus that times that, plus that times that, plus that times that, plus that times that. So 1 times 2 over 70, plus 2 times 6 over 70, plus 3 times 12 over 70, plus 4 times 20 over 70, plus 5 times 30 over 70. So we get 2 plus 12 plus 36 plus 80 plus 150 all over 70. And just be on the safe side, 2 plus 12 plus 36 plus 80 plus 150 is 280. So this equals 280 over 70, which equals 4. So the expected value of x is 4. To find the variance, we then use a second formula, which is the sum of x squared times p. Take away this expected value squared. So what this means in reality is we do 1 squared, which is 1, times 2 over 70, plus 2 squared, which is 4, times 6 over 70, plus 3 squared, which is 9, times 12 over 70, plus 4 squared, which is 16, times 20 over 70, plus 5 squared, which is 25, times 30 over 70, and take away the expected value squared, which is take away 4 squared, which is of course 16. So again, to be on the safe side, we've got 1 times 2 plus 4 times 6 plus 9 times 12 plus 16 times 20 plus 25 times 30. They were all the numerators, all over 70, which works out at 17.2. So we get 17.2, take away 4 squared, take away 16, which gives the final answer of 1.2.